Hey guys, welcome to Compound Body once again today and today we're going to be doing upper and lower body twists. Now twist is a key component in terms of strengthening the core muscles, especially the obliques. So you're talking about the transverse abdominal muscles and it's also a great way how to get that V taper shape muscles um, just like the bodybuilders or just to improve that strength for you, maybe your crossfit lifts um, for power lifting or for any kind of lifting or just to, for sports conditioning. Um, so twisting is a great asset to be added to your workout and I will just be showing you how to twist properly and just to engage the core in the most effective way Le to get you leaner, stronger and looking a lot better. Alright, let's do it. First exercise that we're going to do is called the upper body twist. Now what you want to do is simply roll onto the ball and with the shoulder and head girdle um, just be aligned onto the ball. You shouldn't be feeling any neck pain. Another thing that you want to do is just to lift the pelvic area so that your body forms a straight line. So your, your knees should bend at a 90 degree angle to the ground, like this. Place your arms into the air. You're going to make a 90 degree angle with your body just like I am doing right now. And what you're going to do is to keep the head looking upwards towards the sky. This is going to help to mobilize the spine and you're going to just twist the upper body while keeping the lower half firmly in place. Now for some person they may not be able to get a full twist. That's okay. Make a half twist until you're able to get a full twist. And some advancement to this exercise is actually it's just to add weight. So you can add a weight plate, a kettlebell, dumbbell and just do the same movement with those firmly placed in the hand. I lay on the ground, take the ball, place it at the calf level, put the leg onto the ball, tuck the ball near to the thigh so that you have the ball firmly placed underneath and with the knees bent at a 90 degrees angle, rotate legs to each side, returning to the starting point then go to the other side. So do not let the opposite shoulder come off the ground so if you're rotating to the left make sure the right shoulder stays firmly planted on the ground and an advancement to this exercise is actually to remove the ball and do it without just like I'm doing right now and another way that you can do it is actually just to add a weight plate kettlebell or dumbbell after you have removed the ball to the legs and hold it firmly and move side to side alright guys and there you have it thanks for watching so go ahead share and subscribe eat sleep lift play and have a great day